Well, hello and welcome back. We are going to shred a little bit of straw today. Got a patch of strawberries that we put in about a month ago. Our plants are still really small, but we want to start to protect them for the frosts that are coming in. Straw is a good way to do that, but as it comes in the bale, often it's a little bit coarse. We'll look at that in just a moment. That's why we run it through something like this. Breaks it down and makes it a little bit easier to tuck in around those tender young plants. So let's open up that bale. We'll take a look at what we have. We'll shred it and see what the finished product looks like. Okay, so right out of the bale, this isn't that bad. This is pretty well chopped up. You know, I've seen straw in the past that was a lot coarser and a lot stemmier. So this might work as is, but I think we'll still run it through there. Get a good sense of even straw like this that's pretty well chopped. Uh, what a shredder will do to it. Okay, let's see what we've got. So you can see it's much finer. It's gonna be very easy to spread this around those strawberries. I won't need much for those and the rest I'll probably put uh, around the other raised beds up there or in our main garden. But this, this we can work with. This will do. So shredding is something I haven't done in a while. There was a little bit of learning curve. I had to remember how to feed it. And it's not too much at one time. So with a shredder like this, it's not just going to suck it down in there. You do have to push. And I used that plastic bat, which worked okay, but I should have used a stick, really. But generally speaking, kind of breaking it up, feeding it down in there, and then you're pushing it down and towards that left corner. That's what I found worked really well. If, if you just dump a bunch in there and try to push it, it's not going to go. It's going to clog up. But a little bit at a time, keep it moving. And it did a great job. I'm going to blow this off real good now, but I think if you had two people, one feeding it and one pushing, you could do a bale of straw in no time at all. So let me get everything put away here and we'll run up real quick. I'll show you the strawberries and how we're going to straw them.
been digging somewhere or something haven't you okay time for the straw and pretty much I just kind of want to put two or three inches around all of it basically what I would say burying it not neck deep but waist deep maybe almost shoulder deep and that'll just help protect those roots when we have the freezes and everything this winter but I think for fall planted strawberries and these were bare root when they came they're looking pretty good There we go. I may add more later, but that's good for today. The rest of that I'm going to put on the kitchen garden. I already put like six loads of manure on there the other day. We may turn that under Saturday or Sunday, depending on the weather with the broad fork. And I'll bring you along with that. But there is strawberries happily under the shredded straw. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you again soon.